Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be trying out some new products. One of these products I'm super excited about because I got it in the mail and I have been a fan of their foundations and I saw this and I was like, okay, I have to try that because I also loved the concealer version of this. So it is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation and I think this is so interesting. First off, I love the packaging. So it is a squeezy tube product and I just love the look of this. I think it looks so nice. This is launching at Sephora. I'm not sure exactly when, when I went on Sephora to see if I could get a darker shade. It was not available um, at that time and that was like a few days ago. So I'll kind of check back and see, link it for you guys below if it is available. But I'm mainly focused on this product today and then I have a few other products we can incorporate to try out. I also got their Climax Extreme. I was never like a huge fan of the original Climax mascara. I'm interested to try this out. We'll see how it works. Uh, we also have like a little peach powder from Makeup Revolution. It reminds me of the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder, which I know my last video, I kind of thought that maybe they're phasing out the peach line and it's looking like that's what it is So we're just gonna go ahead and hop on into this video I hope you guys enjoy it if you're interested in seeing how these products work definitely keep watching We're gonna go ahead and just hop on into it I also forget to say every single time, don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell to stay updated. All right, let's get into it. I'm excited about this foundation. That's what I'm gonna start with because I'm just the most pumped about it. I am gonna pull it up really quickly on Sephora and read what they're saying about it. It's $40, it'll be available September 1st. It says it's a full coverage. Speaking to my soul, I have not read this. I haven't read much about it. I just have, was really excited because it said matte on it, so I was like all for it. But a full coverage, transfer proof, oxygen, Oxidation resistant foundation that lasts for 16 hours with a natural looking matte finish. Full coverage and matte. You can't get better than that, right? Ooh, I'm excited. It says it's for normal dry combo oily skin and it says that it will give you a full natural looking matte coverage for up to 16 hours. Humidity proof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. And it is formulated with microalgae and biohyaluronic acid to help absorb excess. Sounds pretty dang good to me. The darkest shade that I was sent in PR was Valencia Medium 5. So we're going to try that out first. I also have Barcelona. I think I've been Barcelona in a few of their other foundations, so we'll kind of see which color is best. This one's a medium 2.5, which if these are too dark, I do like that they added a lighter shade to like mix and match. But I love that they're squeezy too. These are like super travel friendly. They're also like kind of compact as well. So this is the packaging and what it looks like. I think I'm going to be this one, which is Valencia medium five. So we're going to try that one out first. I do have the concealer. I think this one, this this one's light three honey. This one might be too dark for my under eyes. I don't even think I have the other NARS concealer over there like in the other shade because I used to use this all the time. But it's probably old by now. But we'll kind of see if honey will be more of like a skin tone shade. We gotta get into this foundation. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm gonna take my regular sponge. I've already primed. I've got my Tatcha primer right here. And then I also have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus primer water. Keep it it. Same old, same old. It's so hard for me to like and try new primers. It's just one of those things, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do one side of my face. Wow, this color is actually perfect for me right now. My neck looks a little dark because my reflector is covered in makeup. <laughs> and usually that will help the light reflect up to my neck because when you have all these lights coming down, this will look darker. The reflector helps bounce it off whatever, it's covered with makeup. It's probably not covered with makeup once every like 90 days, but this color matches me spot on in person. And the coverage looks really nice so far. It doesn't feel heavy. I'm trying to do like one side of my face so you guys can see. I love doing half and half because I have like rosacea and everything. And then when we get a full coverage look, it just, oh, it is definitely full coverage. It's actually so pretty. I do like it. That color is my new color. I've been meaning to reorder the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I also like that one a lot. I did a video with them like, God, how long ago was that launched? Forever ago. I loved it and I just haven't had a chance to repurchase it. I have got to go through my makeup and get rid of old stuff because a lot of that is so old that you know you can't wear it it's gonna like break you out and I don't need to be having breakouts so we're gonna go ahead and do this side match it all up cover up that rosacea any flare-ups I mean NARS you always speak in my language always speak in my language with these full coverage products don't forget this under chin area I always 
always forget this area for some reason. This is my perfect color. Like for real, I am impressed with this color shade. Make sure everything is kind of blended back to that hairline. It's definitely more matte than the Born This Way, like right off the bat. There's not as much glow as this one had. I really like that. I mean, I'm an oily person. I think this will stay nice and matte for a long period of time. I like it so far. I think it looks really, really good. I'm impressed. This honey concealer, I think, like I said, this is gonna be too dark, but that's okay. I'll use that for my face. I do know it's a good face concealer, but when you have a full coverage foundation, you don't really need it, which is why I really love full coverage foundations. But we'll go ahead and do what I've normally been doing, uh, the Dior Forever Skin Correct in. 2N. I kind of mentioned this in the last video, but this isn't like anything crazy, you know, like revolutionary concealer. I wouldn't say like go buy it. It's the best of the best, you know, but it's good. Highlight, cover up some dark circles, even out these lids as well. Brighten us back up. I do not think I have tried this I Love Revolution Peach Baking Powder. I don't even know if I've seen it. I mean, maybe I have and I was just like, mm, no. Maybe I have and I just like passed by it and didn't really care. I randomly saw it when I was at Ulta picking up some things, like I need an eyelash curler and all this stuff. Well, it was in my last video you guys saw. And it said $7 and then she rung it up and it was like $3.50. So I was like, wow, yes, I'm glad I bought that now because it was on sale for seven and then on sale again. So I don't even know how much it was not on sale the first round, you know what I mean? So we'll see if it's good. Hopefully it is because I don't want it to mess up this foundation. I'm gonna smell it, kind of look at the texture and see what we're working with here. I wanted to really try it out and see if it was an alternative, but if it's on sale, it also makes me think like, is it gonna be in store much longer or are they just phasing this one out too? You know what I mean? I will say everything is looking really good so far. Blending really, really well. I, ugh, I cannot tell you guys how much I love a full coverage foundation. I mean, you know, you know how much I love it. When I don't have to build anything up, like yes, please, I love it. So good. I don't know, foundation is like one of my favorite parts of makeup because since I have stuff to cover and I don't self tan my face, it's like such a dramatic change for me and I love seeing it. Concealer looks really great on top of this foundation. Everything's looking very smooth. My texture is not emphasized or anything like that, which I'm all about. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up this powder. The seal is broken. Oh my God, please don't tell me. This one, open this. That's the packaging. All right, good. So the inside seal is still intact. Does not look like it's been tampered with. Somebody probably opened it and was like, mm, don't feel like doing that, which you shouldn't. So don't be putting your fingers in here, please, when you're out and about shopping. I like the color, the tint of it looks really great. Let's hope this is a good peach scent. The Too Faced Peach line is like a great scent. Not a bad scent, but Too Faced is definitely better. It just smells a little bit more, I don't wanna say realistic, but pleasant. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge like normal. All right, we're just gonna dive on in. Decent so far. I was a little nervous at first because it kind of looked like it was starting to clump on the skin, but the more you blend it out, the better it gets. Like it starts to like melt into the skin and this sponge really pushes it in. So not bad. Tried some terrible powders in my day. And I've got larger pores and obviously texture on my skin due to the rosacea. And the last thing I want is a setting powder that's going to make that 10 times worse, you know? Especially if you have like a really good foundation on, you're like, yes, this is it, I'm feeling it. And your powder goes on and you're just like, just had to do me like that? Like, and then you gotta do it all over or you just roll with it. You work so hard on something and then one product just messes it all up. Setting the eyelids, I have very oily eyelids. And in that inner corner. So not bad at all. I think it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks really smooth. Everything looks great right now. We're doing good so far. And now we're going to bronze and all of that. I do have like new brow products and stuff and I have a new setting spray, which I think I'm gonna skip on this today only because I really wanna give the foundation a good shot without a setting spray. But this is from e.l.f. and it's the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. And I saw this and I was super interested to try this out because I really love e.l.f. products. So, but I am gonna go ahead and bronze. We'll just use this. Cosmetics Bye Bye Bronzer and then contour with this NARS one. I don't know what the name is because as I was taking it out of the PR package, the name ripped off, so I have no idea what the name is. So I'm gonna grab a little bronzing brush. I actually just bought a new one when I was at Ulta 2, and it looks so different. This is a new one. This is like my old one. They just fluff out really, really well. And buff that on the skin. Don't really need like a heavy bronze, but just something to 
add a little bit of color because I'm going to add that contour shade in just a second. And I like to have a little bit of shadow right on and kind of underneath that cheekbone. I do like bronzer on my cheeks because I love that bronzed look, but it's always up to you. Some people don't like that. They just like to contour. So it just kind of depends on your preference. Love this little MAC 143 SES brush. And then I'm going to use that MAC or that NARS matte bronzer. And I'm gonna use the very edge of this brush. Tap off that excess and I just like to go ahead and pat it in. And this brush just kind of applies and blends it out really well and gives like a nice chiseled look. You see that? But it's like really soft. I like this brush a lot. I've also used it just to kind of like apply product directly to the bottom of it and just kind of swoop it up in the shape of the brush. And it works really well. Do it again. But this side, make sure I tap off that excess. Press it right underneath that cheekbone. And once you get like the very top layer of makeup on, then you can start really going in and buffing it. But I like to be careful and just make sure I get that edge right underneath that cheekbone. And I'm just going to take some and hit this jawline. I'm going to slightly contour my nose, taking a little tiny bit of that NARS bronzer, adding a little bit of shadow and under here as well. I'm glad they sent me some, the Barcelona and Valencia because I think like today I'm Valencia, probably tomorrow or the next day I'll be mixing Barcelona and Valencia and then I'll go to Barcelona because my tan will fade. So I like that they sent that because they're going to be really good shades for me. Now I'm going to take this Lawless blush. This is in the shade Phoenix and I'm going to use my blush brush and I'm going to lightly apply this to my cheeks. I've been really loving these Lawless blushes. I think they're so pretty. Just looks all healthy and pretty. Sometimes I can get very carried away on blush though. Everything's blending well on the skin so far. Nothing's looking cakey or anything like that. Starbucks, I need to know this information, you guys. Starbucks came out with their pumpkin stuff. <laughs> I don't even know. It's pumpkin season, right? I never have recalled ever trying pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin cold brew, nothing. I've never tried it. But every year I see people go crazy over it. I'm like, is it really that good? Like, I don't think I'm a big fan of pumpkin. So I don't think I would be like obsessed with it. But every time I see people talking about it, I'm like, oh, I want to try that. But then if I get over there, I get over there and I'm like, uh, if I hate it though, I just spent like $5 on this drink and I don't want to drink it. So I always like hesitate to buy it. I just need to know if it's worth the hype. If you're not like a huge pumpkin lover, do you still love the pumpkin stuff? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to spend my money on it and then hate it. But like, I need to try it, you know, just to say I've tried it after all this time. I don't think I've ever tried it before. I just, I want your guys' opinion. Please let me know down below. I am going to go ahead and use my Smashbox palette. Oh, I just dug my fingers in there. This was such a fun collab. This is my first collab. So special to me. I loved it so much. It's not coming back, but it was one of my favorite favorite things ever. I love all of my collabs and this is my last palette. So it's like oh, really special. This palette was so good. If you have texture and stuff like that, this is a really great highlighting palette. It just never made your skin look textured or overdone. It just gives you a really pretty like glow from within. And I loved it. I would put this seriously everywhere. And at the shoot, for this product. I had so much of it just cause you shoot all day and you reapply, like you go eat lunch, you come back, it's like, oh, let's do makeup refresh on everything. And then you apply a little bit more. By the end of it, I had so much highlighter on, but I was like living for it. I loved it so much. I do have this Patrick Star, the one size eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna add a few different shades to my lid. I was kind of swatching and stuff when I first got this. I'm gonna go in with Mango first and apply that to my crease. This is such a cool palette. It's like a different shape, but this is like an overhang on the side and then you lift it up. It's really nice and it has a mirror and everything. This mango color is pretty. I'm just gonna blend and build that up. I guess I'll go with soft serve. This one right here, blend that into the outer V. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Manila Sands, which is like the cream in here, and put that on my lid, mainly because I wasn't gonna do like a dramatic, wow, that's really pigmented. I wasn't gonna do a dramatic look or anything. I just wanted something simple because I'm not doing lashes, mainly on the inner corner lid, and then go back in. I'm gonna take Suede Charm this time though, and just kind of blend that in between. 
nice and simple. And I'm going to take just a tiny bit more of Mango and hit the crease. I'm going to quickly add this liner. This is the One Size Point Made liner. I'm going to apply it to my upper lash line, so I'm not going to show you guys because I hate showing that, but I'm applying it to the upper water line. Seems nice and creamy. Okay, I got this new eyelash curler at Ulta. It was like the only one I could really find, and this looked cool. So it's Curl Drama Dramatic Curl. That's where it got me. It just looks so cute. Oh, it's Revlon. Every Revlon lash curler I've ever had was terrible, so I hope this is good. It's not good at all. It didn't do anything. Revlon, I need you to do better. I need you to do better with your eyelash curlers. Pushing it with two hands and I'm still not getting anything, so trash. Now I'm gonna use the Climax Extreme and then we're gonna go in with a couple different brow products. There's what the brush looks like. It's um, rubberized bristles, it's pretty large. I'm not gonna judge this too hard because my lashes would not curl. Whoa, damn, with a good eyelash curler, this is one of the first times I've been impressed by mascara in a really long time. It's very volumizing, and I think once I get that good curled lash, I'm impressed. I like that a lot. This is where it's at. I mean, that gave really great volume. It actually gave me a little bit of curl <laughs> that I needed because the lash curler's not giving it to me. Now we have some new It Cosmetics stuff, and then I'm gonna do lips, and then I will see you guys in a little bit. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Powder and Brow Filler. These are brand new I'm taking it. I got them in PR. You have a volumized tinted bra fiber brow gel and a universal brow pencil. I kept universal blonde and universal taupe. I didn't know exactly what color I would be. Usually I'm a taupe person, but since I did go lighter with my hair, I thought I would keep the blonde one too. Like even when I have really dark hair, I always like a taupey brow. That's just who I am. And I need new brow products because I'm almost out of my Urban Decay brow blade and I really need another one. I just need to go purchase another one, but Ulta doesn't have it. So this is like an oval shape. Don't know if you guys can really tell and I'm not a big fan of that. I don't like pencils that are like oval. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the brow filler first and then we'll go in with that. I'm gonna take Universal Blonde first and just see how this looks all over my brows. Love a good brow filler, you know? I'm here for it. I've never seen one like this. So it has like a spikiness to it and then the like very tip is a sponge, but there's definitely fibers in there. Okay, let's see what this looks like. The spongy tip is kind of like a powder in a way where you can just ever so slightly fill in your brows a little bit more. That's not bad. I feel like I like using the tip of it better than like the flat side with the bristles on it. You have more control. Definitely an easy way to quickly fill in your brows. I like it. The only thing it's not gonna get for me is the inner corners, but that's, I can get that with a pencil. And I'm curious what this looks like kind of more dried down. I'm gonna take the spoolie side of the pencil and just brush through it really quickly. I like that a lot. That's a really simple product. Gets the job done. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Universal taupe here. I can deal with that. I think that looks pretty good. Let me get this little space. So I would mainly use the brow filler all over and then use the pencil just to kind of go in and touch up certain areas. I like it. The brow filler mainly. The brow filler is what I would use and then I would use to use whatever pencil I had on hand. I had got a couple new lipsticks from Morphe. So this one is in Taunt. She looks really pretty. There she is. Her name is Taunt. I'm gonna take this Melt Cosmetics lip liner. What shade are you? nudist and then put taunt over top. So this is the finished makeup look. Obviously the star of the show is definitely the foundation. I'm going to wear it and I will give you guys a little update at the end of the day before I wash my makeup off because I just want to see how well it lasts. With the Too Faced one, I did not blot so I'm going to like not touch my face with this one too but so far I really do like it. I think it looks really nice, matte, smooth. Everything blended out really easily as well. I also love that NARS mascara. Like I keep looking at my lashes and they look really voluminous. I think I'm going to really like that one. That's probably going to be my new favorite mascara. And I haven't had a new favorite mascara in such a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this throughout the day. I'll update you guys later. It's a little bit later in the day, it's 1:30, but I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna give you guys a little zoom here so you can see my skin, what it's looking like. My forehead looks really nice and smooth. Everything else looks really nice and smooth. Everything blended really well. So, so I'm back. It is 9:48 way past my bedtime. I don't know if you could tell, but I am so tired and I have a headache that's like right in here. So these lights are just like killing me. I do really like it. I haven't noticed that I really needed to blot until now. I would say since it's like almost 10 o'clock, I probably should have blotted around like eight or so. We did go outside, put the cover on the boat and stuff and it was so hot. So I was like a little bit 
stretchy, but I think it lasted pretty well. I mean, I don't see anything that's really come off. My bronzer, blush, and highlight, all of that is still on. I still have really good coverage on my skin. I am gonna go ahead and take some tissue now and blot and make this look like 10 times better. Like, look at that. Man, oily skin, huh? That's about how much has come off, but you can just see the difference between not blotting and not paying attention and then just blotting the makeup and it looks 10 times better. You don't necessarily even need more powder. It can just be done like this. And do the same on this side. You can use your blotting sheets, you know, whatever you have. I just use toilet paper like all the time because no matter where I am, I'm always blotting with some sort of toilet paper. <laughs> A little bit more came off there. After blotting, it definitely looks way better. I am in a very hot, humid climate. You know, I'm gonna sweat, I'm gonna get oily. That's just how it goes. I do think this lasted really well. It's not like a ton of makeup came off my face or I lost coverage after blotting. I do love the way this looks after initial application. I also like the way it looks in natural lighting because Mason and I, we went out and got some food and my makeup did look really good in natural lighting. So I was really happy about that. That's super important to me. You know, you can go from these studio lights to outside and be like, what happened here? But this did look really good. So, so far I do give it two thumbs up. Everything else I think looks good too. I do like this eyebrow product. I will say it is a little bit thick, like as you like pile more and more of the brow filler on, which obviously is going to happen. I think I'll use that brow filler a lot. I actually have kind of a long day tomorrow. So I'm going to take this foundation downstairs. I'm also going to take this NARS mascara and I'm going to take the brow filler with me because I really want to test them out throughout the day tomorrow as well, because it's going to be kind of a longer day for me and I have to be out and about a lot. I will say this Morphe matte lipstick actually held up pretty dang well. Been wearing this all day. I have not touched it up at all. So, but these four products for sure, I'm going to try out again tomorrow. I did really like them on first impressions and just in this video in general and how everything wore throughout the day. So I'm going to wear this again and then update you guys in the description box, especially about this foundation and let you know how it lasted as I'm out and about and having to really like check out my makeup and make sure it looks good. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're excited about this foundation, if you plan on picking it up and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.